Why should you use a neutral grip in the golf swing? I'll tell you why. Now the standard grip for many golfers is a strong grip, but I think you should be using a neutral grip in your golf swing. And here's some reason why. One, it's a natural grip for you to use. When you reach out and grab something, you don't grab it with your arms under it. Reach out and grab something, you grab it with your hands like that, parallel to each other. You don't grab something with one arm like, hand like this and one like that, or with your hands like this. You grab, you grab it like this. It's a natural motion or alignment for your hands when you grab something. The next reason is the neutral grip works naturally with your body rotation. You rotate your body, your hands naturally will come back into the correct position in the swing without you doing anything. If you have a strong or even a weak grip, your hands won't naturally get back in that position. It just naturally works with your body turn. If you're a body swinger, if you rotate, depend on rotating your body for your power in your golf swing, a neutral grip just naturally works with it. The next reason for using a neutral grip is it reduces the tension in your arms and your hands. Uh, when you add a strong grip, you naturally add tension to your forearms as well as your hands. A neutral grip, there's no added tension and your hands are just nice and loose. They can do whatever they want because they're in the correct mechanical position to roll over and do whatever you want in the golf swing. Now when you use a neutral grip, neither hand is gonna dominate the other one. With a strong grip, either your right hand or your left hand, usually your right hand, is gonna be your dominant hand and that means your right side is gonna dominate your golf swing. But if you use a neutral grip, then both sides are balanced out. You've got great balance in your swing, balance in your hands. It just promotes a more balanced swing. Another thing a neutral grip does is it promotes the proper wrist hinge. It just naturally wants to get in the right position at the top. When you get down to the bottom, your arms naturally want to roll over correctly in the swing. I and mean, when you've got a neutral grip, all this stuff just happens. You don't really have to do anything. But if you've added tension by promoting it with a strong grip, these things, they just don't happen naturally. Particularly this rollover at the bottom, you've got to really use some arm action in there. So again, the neutral grip promotes these, these correct hinging actions with their wrists. They just make it easy and it naturally happens. Something else a neutral grip does is promote a more consistent swing. Because you're not introducing tension in your arms or your hands and because it's just naturally wants to turn, everything is going to happen consistently. When you use a strong or weak grip, you've really got to get those small muscles in your arms and even your wrist involved and getting the turnover and getting everything involved. And when you've got those small muscles involved, you're gonna have a lot more errors. So neutral grip, you can just be relaxed, make your turn and everything happens. You don't have to get the small muscles involved. And that means you're gonna be more consistent with a neutral grip. Something else a neutral grip does is, is it promotes a neutral swing path. You're not gonna be two inside or two outside with a neutral grip because with a neutral grip, remember, you just turn and everything happens. You don't have to mess with your wrist or arms at all. They just naturally go into a good path. Something else a neutral grip does is it reduces compensations in your swing. Remember, a strong grip is really just a compensation for something else going on in your swing. But if you take a strong grip, that changes your whole swing, so you're going to have to compensate for it someplace else in your swing. And it's just like a chain. As it works its way down the chain, every time you do a compensation, it means you've got to change something else to compensate for it. 
A neutral grip is just your natural grip and your natural motion. It doesn't promote any compensations in your swing anywhere down the line. Finally, with a neutral grip, your swing mechanics are simplified. Remember, a neutral grip is just your natural grip. And when you turn, it just naturally goes into where you want it. You get a natural hinge, a natural wrist cock. It naturally rolls over, and you have a natural follow through. It's just keeping it simple. When you're using a strong or weak grip, you've got to compensate for it in the rest of your swing, and it compl complicates the rest of your swing. So really a neutral grip just allows you to have a simpler swing all through the whole process. And that's why I think you should use a neutral grip. There are just a lot of advantages to using a neutral grip. I know it's gonna seem strange to a lot of people. You've worked your whole life uh, around being told to use, probably to use a strong grip. Very few people use a weak grip. And you're going to have to work around to get back to using a neutral grip, but it's your natural grip. It's the natural motion of your arms, and it'll simplify your golf swing just to get back to a neutral grip.